Sharon, thanks. The DNA sample that led authorities to the suspected Golden State killer is giving new backing to a proposed ballot initiative. We've proven it, and it, it, it comes down to it. We can solve these crimes. An Elk Grove Assemblyman is aiming to expand the state's DNA database, which criminologists say is proven to solve crimes. But in recent years, the same measure has repeatedly failed in the legislature. So does this new initiative have a shot? CBS 13's Lamore Abrams is getting answers. Forensic experts say DNA, like this, is key to solving crime. But what if a simple drug conviction or other misdemeanor would require you to submit your DNA to a statewide database? While the arrest of the suspected Golden State killer, which relied on DNA, is breathing new life into a controversial ballot initiative. The arrest of the man accused of being the most elusive serial criminal in American history. 51 rapes and 12 murders. Gave victims' families a sense of closure. But it's finally solved. By DNA. And opened a new path forward for a state measure that would expand the state's DNA database. Misdemeanors like drug possession, assault, burglary, petty theft, fraud, and forgery would be included on the list of crimes eligible for DNA collection. I'm just determined. For the last three years, State Assemblyman and former cop Jim Cooper has tried and failed to pass that legislation. 97% or 98% of the public will never have their DNA taken because you have to be arrested for a felony. So the majority of the population never gets arrested for a felony. Cooper says he's had no success getting his message through to Democrats in the legislature. So he's taking it directly to voters, like Andy Sunderland. I've been charged with a misdemeanor myself for um, a civil disobedience in solidarity with Walmart workers. So when I hear misdemeanor, uh, my first response is, um, you know, I don't think I deserve to be in some kind of database. She's not the only one concerned about privacy. So this is a DNA profile. Forensic biologist Ruth Ballard urges caution on the DNA decision. The next step is arrested for a misdemeanor. And so that's, that's the direction in which uh, the legislation seems to be going. So my question is at what point, you know, are we as a society gonna draw the line? Cooper has an answer for that too. As a 51 women that have been raped, the 12 people killed by the Golden State Killer. As for that ballot initiative, it has three more weeks to gather enough valid signatures to qualify for the 2018 ballot. Experts say they have about 2,000 fewer hits per year on the DNA database since Prop 47 downgraded some felonies to misdemeanors.